Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. Uh, today, guys, we will take a look at the euro currency because, well, in general, all markets across the board just expect and an, an non-farm payrolls numbers, so that's why the activity right now is not very uh, significant. The other our uh, setups that we have discussed in the Great British Pound, this target has been completed. So if we we'll take a look at the Great British Pound, our patron has achieved the target. As we said, it's approximately 153.50 area. This uh, 300 pips action. So this short-term setup on the Great British Pound is completed, and now we will uh, wait and see whether this retracement will trigger something bigger on the weekly chart. Whether we will get some retracement pattern on the weekly chart. Uh, whether uh, in what pattern this situation could shift in the nearest future, or market just will continue move lower. So that's just uh, we need some time. Uh, to provide markets some time to uh, create something. <coughs> On the Australian dollar, is also market gradual is moving to the upside. So here is our yesterday setup. It's ABCD pattern with this hand and shoulders. As you can see, market has started gradual move to the upside. Now it's uh, struggling with the pivot point. But in general, this setup is still valid. So if you have taken position where we have discussed yesterday, now you could move your stop to the break even and just wait what will happen next. Uh, that's why, uh, since nothing to comment here, uh, we will take a look at the euro currency. On the euro currency, as you can see, is really uh, a lot of volatility on the intraday charts, uh, mostly due to the concern and the turmoil around degrees. So initially, the European Central Bank has said that uh, there's no help will be provided to the Greece uh, in terms of the supporting of the short-term liquidity. And the uh, European Central Bank will not accept the Greek bonds as the collateral for uh, this liquidity. Yesterday, they have changed their mind and uh, said that they could provide the 60 billions. Uh, and uh, so, this, this, as you can see, market reacts very, very actively on the changing of the thoughts and opinions concerning the uh, current financial situation in degrees. And uh, <coughs> Today also some uh, volatility could be triggered by uh, non-farm payrolls release numbers. So uh, right now we think that market could show some small upward action. We just would like to worry us. In general, this today update not, not uh, doesn't contain any trading setup, but it just uh, shows some worrying and some interesting uh, moment that could appear during today's trading session on the euro currency. So we will take a look at this up this band. This is the uh, Judd Napoli oscillator predictor. It shows the level of the your bot. This is the upper band of this oscillator. So we will take a look at the numbers. It will show that today's our bot is uh, 1546 area, roughly 50, uh, 1550 area. It means that market uh, will have some problem with the overcoming of this level. So it's, it's, it will be very difficult market to pass through it. This probably could happen only if the non-farm payrolls data will be very bad. It's below 200,000, I suppose. In this case, market could try to pass through it. But in other conditions, that will be a very uh, significant barrier for the market to continue move higher. And take a look that this barrier stands very close to the previous top. This is in general important for an intraday setup. Because uh, existing of the ever bot right near the previous top could be the reason for the small washing rains on the intraday charts. So market just could sh show some shy up reaction, grab the stops above this top and return right back down. That could happen. Uh, that's mo mostly come from the combination of the verbat near the previous top. If you take a look at the hourly chart, here we have another moment that we have discussed previously. Take a look. We have this ABC bottom pattern. and not quite completed 1618 extension, 1618 target. So we can see market has turned down prior the hitting of this target. And we have said that we 
uh, where every time when we see this situation where every time uh, talk about some uh, problem some about the warnings uh, that market could return right back up touch the target and only after that either continue move up or uh, down or uh, continue move up it's not very important but what is important is that market uh, doesn't like to leave behind the significant targets and that's why it could return right back down hit this target first but take a look where it stand the 1618 extension stands at the 1540 area and take a look right at the bottom of the previous consolidation rectangle consolidation that's also the monthly pivot point uh, also guys this will be the daily everybody as we said in this previous top on the daily chart so what we would like to talk about is that market could show upper leg hit the target finally but since it will meet the other bot it could show the washroom rings grab the stops above this top and turn down so that could be the local uh, short term some kind of the double top double top pressure on something of that sort that's really could happen uh, on the hourly chart we see that market now stands in the summer retracement and probably it could continue move a bit lower so market could retest for example these previous tops Okay, that's coincide with the FIB level 1423. So it could show some ABCD down, uh, reach this area, and maybe after that it could reestablish move up. But anyway, the major action probably will happen uh, on the when the non-farm payrolls, uh, payrolls uh, data will be released. That's just the probable action that could happen. Uh, we just would like to war uh, uh, warn you that if you think about the taking long position. You could do this probably, but be be aware of this area. So do not hold this position too long, and better to close it somewhere around a 1540-1550 area, since uh, after that the chances that market will pass it is uh, really, really not very significant. So think about the taking profit somewhere on this area. Uh, the one exception could be if, as I said, only the non-farm pearls data will be very bad. In this case, yes, the market could overcome the overbought area, uh, pass through it, uh, and continue move up. But in normal conditions, if non-farm payrolls uh, will be somewhere around the expectation, expectation stands around 235,000. Uh, in this case, probably market could show some upper reduction, grab the stops above this high, meet the overbought, and will not be able to pass through it and turn to the downside. That's uh, pro uh, we just see very interesting situation from the market mechanics point of view, and the traps that market could bring to the investors, to the traders, and um, this uh, current setup is very interesting, mostly from the educative point of view. So it's a combination of the overbought existing of the untouched, un unhidden target, and um, the general setup is very uh, interesting and. Uh, very valuable. So that's all that I would like to say right now on the euro currency. Uh, probably uh, at the weekend we will get more information and uh, more uh, results of the non-farm payrolls release. And probably we will find some patients to discuss. But right now let's wait what uh, numbers on the what the numbers on the non-farm payrolls uh, give us and what action they will trigger.